As decision and policy makers, we want the strategies that we develop and implement to have a lasting, positive impact. Continuing to provide benefits and improvements for everyone, not just now, but far into the future as well. In order to do this, we need to be able to consider not only what is happening in the current moment, but also what might happen in the future and how policies can affect different groups in vastly different ways. When creating policy, if we analyse data and statistics, we're only looking at what is happening now, or in fact, in the recent past. Although this is important and helpful, it can't really tell us what the lasting outcomes of these policies might be. Futures literacy is a means through which we can begin to imagine how the impacts of these policies may change over time, who they will affect, and whether they may achieve the desired outcomes. More than just a tool, Futures Literacy is a continually evolving skill set which we can develop and improve the more we use it as we expand our own skills for imagination. Using creative techniques such as developing scenarios, character-led storytelling and postcards to the future, Futures Literacy can enable people to think about the future and so can be applied to engage with key stakeholders in workshops and discussions. Using creative futures, we can consider how a specific scenario might affect our own lives in the future, or we can try to describe what our ideal future may look like. The results from these methods can then help policymakers and thinkers to consider how policy can affect individuals and companies differently over a period of time, and how we can adapt or change our policies so they are more likely to create a future we all want. As creative futures are about experience and imagination, there are no right or wrong answers. This makes them engaging, participatory methods that we can use with our colleagues and our communities. All you need is your imagination, so anyone can take part in Creative Futures workshops, helping us to gain valuable insight from key groups relating to a given policy, based on their own lived experience and knowledge. Insights that can be gathered from a broad range of people of varying ethnicities, backgrounds and opinions. The Futures Literacy Methods can both be used on their own, as well as in combination with each other, to further examine and improve developing policies, using the information gained from the outcomes of a first task to create further discussion in future workshops, perhaps using other futures techniques or talking to other people. By taking time to consider the future now, we can better understand the future as a consequence of the actions we are taking today and how making different choices can change what story of the future will unfold. Better allowing us to create policies and strategies that achieve the results we want, improving all our lives, not just in the following months, but in years to come. The Future Trends and Inequalities in Wales project utilises futures literacy to involve communities and organisations, investigating how inequalities may intersect with climate change in Wales. The project aimed to use storytelling to capture the experiences of underrepresented people, whose voices are not always heard during policy development, getting communities to imagine their own priorities, preferences hopes and fears surrounding climate change policy. The project prompted discussions informed by long-term thinking about climate and inequalities, bringing people together to consider what a good future may look like and what issues might need to be prevented in order to get there. It was developed collaboratively by climate policy stakeholders and community advocate groups and integrated with other studies and projects in the field. To meet these aims, the project involved eight core stakeholder groups and 142 individual participants, including social renters, young farmers, women's groups, 
people with learning disabilities and community groups around Wales. Utilising activities run in workshops and storytelling competitions, participants shared their own insights into the future impacts of climate change through two distinct methods. Telling stories is something we have always done. Character-led storytelling makes use of the techniques of oral storytelling, improvisation and collaborative theatre to help people to imagine and build future worlds. With guidance from a facilitator, character-led storytelling workshops get participants to develop fully realised characters before collaboratively exploring the future world that could bring these characters together. This method allows people to see the perspective of another imaginary person, considering different beliefs and scenarios, and providing the opportunity for the ensuing stories to be captured as accessible and impactful futures outputs. Character-led storytelling opens up a safe space for thinking about the future, allowing participants to speak openly about their thoughts and feelings using their characters' names. The second method was the postcards to the future technique, which asks participants to write a postcard or short letter to a future self or imagined relation, or to write from the future back to their current self. This method is useful to promote positive visions of the future, asking participants to imagine what important changes may have occurred. Their postcards describing how their lives have changed or important steps that occurred to get there. If you're thinking about running a Creative Futures project yourself, there are various considerations to make. Work with community partners to help design and refine your project. Be prepared to adapt your approach to suit different needs and circumstances. Use comfortable, safe spaces that participants are already familiar with, like schools or community centres. Be mindful of the language used in project communications to avoid patronising stakeholders or directly guiding their stories. Offer a blend of both active workshop activities and passive at-home worksheet guided activities, enabling participants to work at their own pace. Use a note taker, but avoid audio and video recordings as these may stifle free-flowing conversation. Provide suitable follow-up support and remember that the future can bring up a lot of sensitive topics. Follow up and share your findings and any outputs with the groups and stakeholders you've worked with. Consider the best formats for your outputs. A formal written report is unlikely to be the most effective method of sharing results. And lastly, leave something useful behind enabling groups to adapt your activity for their own future needs.